Well, Eddie, you know, one of the questions that comes to my mind sometimes in dealing with is how do you, have you ever had a situation where you had a leader that was being unethical and how did you handle that? Yeah. I have. Um, being unethical, lying, doing the wrong thing, saying the wrong thing, reporting the wrong thing. Uh, I've had experiences both in the military and in the civilian world where I've had leaders or folks who were in charge or mm -hmm. that I reported to who were that way. Um, example, in the military, uh, one of the things that was necessary for officers in a unit was uh, making sure periodically that the, the weapons were accounted for. Mm -hmm. And it's really easy to look at the, 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 the listing of all the serial numbers and all the weapons and saying, oh, they're, oh, they're all there, check, 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 sign mm -hmm. off, mm -hmm. turn it in. Yeah. And you had to do this mm -hmm. uh, relatively often, once a month right. or so. Yeah. Uh, and I know of fellow officers who would do that as opposed to go into mm -hmm. uh, the arms room and literally, yep, yeah, that one's here, check mm -hmm. that. It, that may have taken two or three hours, mm -hmm. but that was the right thing to do yeah. because the folks that know? I reported yeah. to needed to know yeah. on a regular basis yeah. everything was accounted for. So how did you handle that? I approached that fellow officer mm -hmm. uh, privately mm -hmm. and said, hey, uh, I understand that uh, you didn't physically check the arms room. Mm -hmm. Well, I was in a hurry and I had to do this or I had to do that or I had to get home. And I... No, that's not the right thing to do. And we had, had that conversation privately. Mm -hmm. And uh, as far as I know, he, he, he changed his behavior. Okay. But I wanted to handle it privately because I, I was yeah. raised, oh, yeah. you handle things privately right. and you praise effusively right. publicly. Well, that's good leadership. I agree with that. Good. So have you ever had someone who was uh, uh, in the civilian world who was your boss and you saw them acting in a way that bothered you like that? Yes. Uh, and how did you handle it? What did you do? Um, I didn't realize it till after the fact. Oh, okay. Um, but I still handled it what I thought was effectively. And I'll give you another example where we were, I was in a sales role and we had information that we had to submit in order to get a, a proposal. Right. So I had all my information that I had researched and gathered and worked with some colleagues in the, in the businesses I was in and I had submitted it. Well, I come to find out that a, another sales rep one of my team members uh, was also bidding on that same uh, account. Mm -hmm. He didn't have the same information. Mm. However, the boss had uh, approved of the proposal and we both got the same proposal. Mm -hmm. So I literally uh, you know, approached my boss and said, I understand that my colleague got the same information, same proposal, but I had the depth of research and analysis that really allowed for the proposal to be prepared, but he got the same. And my boss at the time kind of paused, and I guess he didn't realize that I knew that there was a little bit of mm -hmm. uh, shadiness going on. And he says, well, for everybody's benefit, we, we thought it, everybody should get the same information so that the outside world got the same proposal. Mm -hmm. And I told him I didn't think that that was right. Mm. And so we had a discussion. Now, I didn't beat up, uh, uh, jump up and down and, and go ballistic. But it was just one of those little uh, things for me that says something's right. not right here. So your trust kind of went down for that it, leader at that it point. It did. Yeah. I think uh, understanding that as a leader, everybody's watching you, you know. And as even when you're not a leader, everybody's watching you to see how you're going to respond in different situations. And when you are able to hold that up and live it out, the character issues, then you just you develop more trust, people respect you more, and that's the way we want to be. Sure. That's what leading and living with honor really is.